Hazrat Allah ibn Ash'ar Khan. Inshallah, we're going to start. Um, we'll do ayah number 47 and 48 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Um, the story still continues about the uh, Bani Israel. And in this ayah, the ayah number 47, <coughs> we'll do a brief translation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Bani Israel as the Guru. O children of Israel, Bani Israel, the children of Israel, Udhkuru means remember, Ne'umati yallati, my favor, that I did to you, An'amto means I gave you as a reward, in arm, a favor, Alaikum upon you, Wa anni faddaltukum, and that I gave you preference, Fadilat, Alal alamin over the world, all the people of the world, all the people of the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding them that they were given a preference at a time. Then the ayat continues about some day, a day of the judgment which is being reminded to them. Wattaku yawman and fear a day. Yawman is the Day of Judgment here, the Day of Akhirat. La tajzi nafsun an nafsin. Nafs means soul or a person. So a person or a soul will not benefit another person on that day. Shayan means anything, anything at all. Wala yukbalu minha shafatun and any shafat or intercession will not be accepted from him. Wala yukhazu minha adlun and wala yukbalo minha wala yukhazu minha adlun and anything in exchange will not be accepted. Anything in exchange will not be taken from that person or from that soul. Wala hum yunsarun and they will not be helped. So inshallah this is the brief for a translation. So let's look at the the breakdown of the ayahs here. So the ayah starts with Ya Bani Israel. Okay. So here the first part of that is a Ya. Ya means O. So if you are addressing someone, you first say Ya. Okay. O. Okay. Then the rest of the word is Ibnun, which means son. And Bani is the plural of that. Bani means children. And children here include both male and female. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Bani, O children. Okay? So the first word translates as O children. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing a particular group of people. Okay. And what group of people is that? The word is Israel after that. So, Ya Bani Israel. Okay. Israel is the name of Yaqub who was the grandson of Ibrahim and in Hebrew Israel means Abdullah. Okay. So <clears throat> all the progeny or all the children that came after Yaqub they are called Bani Israel, children of Israel. And the first 11 sons and Yaqub, Yusuf Islam, they all moved to Egypt. So all the people who migrated from Egypt back to Palestine in the time of Musa Islam, all of those are called Bani Israel. <coughs> okay. All the Jews may not be Bani Israel because Bani Israel are those people who are the 
generation or progeny or offspring of Yaqub alayhi salam. Okay? But in general, the address is to the Jews who are the majority or uh, part of the Bani Israel. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing them because most of these people at the time are living in Medina. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing Bani Israel and reminding something. Okay? So the next word after that is Uzkuru. So the word Uzkuru starts with the root letters Dal, Kaf, and Ra. The meaning of this is to remember. Dakara means to remember. Okay. From these three letters, the word Uzukur is a command. Uzukur is a command you telling someone to remember. If you are telling someone, remember something, then you say Uzukur. Okay? For one person. Uzukur. And if there are more people, then it's plural is Uzukuru. Okay? So if you put a wow after that, so this is for one person. And if you made a plural of that, Uzukuru, you add in wow and put in alif e which is not read. This means to remember, but this is for plural. Okay? So because Bani Israel, the word is plural, children, so the word is Uzukuru. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the Bani Israel in this ayat. And then first word is remember something. Uzkuru means remember. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so when you read these together, this alif that has a duma on that is not recited. It becomes hamsatul wasal and you put a small swad on it instead of duma. And you combine lam with the zal. So it is going to be read as Bani Isra e Lazkuru. Okay? You do not pronounce this alif. But if you are separately reading these words, then you have to pronounce alif with a dhumma. Uzukuru. Okay? So you may not pronounce because if you don't know, if the, this alif has a fata or dhamma or a kasra, you may not pronounce unless you know the Arabic and you pronounce uzukuru. Okay? Because this small swad on alif means you don't know what it was originally there. Was there a dhamma or fata or a kasra? Okay? But in the word, when you translate in, in the Arabic, then actual word is uzukuru with a dhamma here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them to remember something. What is being reminded here? The first word is ni'amati. Okay, so let's look at that. So the root letters for the next word is noon and and meme. Okay. And the word ni'matun means reward or favor. Reward or favor. If 
someone does some favor to you or someone gives you some reward, we call it ni'matun. That is the actual full word, ni'matun. We call ni'mat because we stop, don't pronounce the full word. But the word is ni'matun. Na'ama means to reward someone, to give something to somebody. In am. Okay, noon ayan meem. Root letters mean to give some reward to somebody. But the noun is ni'matun. Okay, so you can write down the meaning of noon and meme is to reward or to favor. So then the letter ya means me or my. Okay. So when you combine these two words, ne'matun and ya, it is pronounced as ne'mati, my favor. This ta is just written with simple ta, just like it's written here in the Quran. It is written, the combination of these two becomes ne'mati, my ne'matun, which means my favor. Okay? So you can combine these and it can be written as ne'mati, like this. My favor. Or my reward. Okay. And my here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the ayat, the, the Bani Israel, saying, Remember my favor, which means the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. So this, this becomes my favor. So, Nyan Matun is the noun, right? Yes. So, when you uh, use here, you become a uh, no, it's still my, my, it's still now here. Okay. You say my pen, pen is still now. Okay. Yeah. So we're just combining with a pronoun here, which is my. Okay. Ya is a pronoun, which is my. Okay. Okay, but the sentence structure, the word structure change. The, the reason it changes because you have two dummas and you have a ya here. If you keep two dummas, you cannot pronounce with a ya. Ya goes with a kasra, so it's a name a ti. Okay? My favor. Okay? Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being more specific what that name a is, what that favor is, by saying, Allah ti an amto alaikum. So let's look at these words. Lati is okay, so there are two words, lazi and lati. Okay. Lati means that or he, and this is used for masculine. Okay. And a comparable word if the object or the person is feminine then it will be lati. Lazi means that or he and lati means that or she. Okay? So, because we looked at the word ne'matun, the word was ne'matun, we just saw that. Ni'matun, a sign usually if the last word here, in the word the last letter has a ta marbuta, this, this ta is called ta marbuta, when this type of ta comes at the end, the chances are that, that this word has a feminine nature, for example, the word sajid, Sajidun is a person 
a male person who makes sajda. If you put sa tamar bhuta at the end, it will be sajidatun. Sajidatun is a female person who makes sajda. When you stop, you say sajida. Okay, but actual word is sajidatun. Hamid is a person who praises. Hamida is a feminine person. So, mostly if this ta, this kind of ta comes at the end, this noun is feminine. Okay? Because ne'matun is a feminine, so we are using the word lati with that. If this word was a masculine in nature, then lazi will be used with that. So the word nasim, with the nasima. Nasima tun, yeah, nasim, yeah. So nasima is a feminine. Yeah. Hasim, hasim, exactly, hasim. yeah. Okay. So this this is a sign of being a feminine. This last letter, which is a ta, and this ta is also written as like that. Okay. This is also ta. So if the word is saji. The tun, but if you stop, you do not pronounce this ta, so you pronounce saji da, which is a feminine name. Okay, so this ta and this ta they are same thing because when you combine, you write it like that, when you don't combine, you write like this. But these two letters are same, and they are called ta marbuta, round ta. This is just plain ta here. Okay. Compared to this, this is called ta marbuta, which is a round ta. And this is written as this way, or the way it is written is here, this way, which is this here. So the, the word lati is coming because this is a feminine. Okay. And when you put al before that, means da, it becomes some specific thing. Okay? And the word is allati. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, remember my ni'mat, that ni'mat. He's pointing to some ni'mat now. He's being specific to some ni'mat. And what is that ni'mat? An'amtu alaykum. That is the bless, the, the favor that is being reminded here. Okay? So this Allati just means that. Okay? And again, when you combine, you don't read Ne'amati Allati, instead you pronounce Ne'amati Yallati. And this alif here becomes again uh, without any fata on it. Okay. So you put a small swat there on that. This is Hamzatul Wasan. Neamati yallati. After that is the word anamtu alaikum. Okay. So let's look at those two words. Anamtu alaikum. Again, the root letters for that are noon and and meme, which means to favor. <coughs> now, these three letters <coughs> belong to the Bab, which is called Bab Fala, three letters. If I add one more letter in there called Babe Afala, this becomes an Amal. Okay. An Ama means if someone is doing favor to another person. Okay. So to do favor, to do favor. To another person, okay, or to give something to somebody else as a favor, to give something as a favor, okay. 
So if we have these three letters and, and we make a grammar, Fa'al tu, which means I did. That's how we make the grammar of three letters. If you put a ta at the end and pronounce fa'al tu, which means I did, first person and the past tense. Fa'ala fa'al tu. Okay? These, these are four letters here. 